I spend a lot of time at my desk, and during the summer, it can get pretty hot due to my desk being up in this little attic space. So when I was looking on Amazon for a cooling solution, I found these cool playlist fans by Dyson, and I was quite fascinated by the way they worked. But to be honest, they're fairly expensive for that that they're only fans and don't have any cooling built in, such as an AC. So I decided to build my own, using my 3D printer and an electric DC motor. And you can use my files free of charge and build one too. In this video I will give you an exact tutorial on how to assemble it and it's actually quite easy, you only need a few components. But first, let me explain on how they work. First of all, to say that they're bladeless is kind of a lie. They do have blades, you just can't see them. In my design there is a 9 volt electric motor that powers the centrifugal fan which sucks in air from the bottom and blows it along the sides of the motor into this top piece. And this is where all the magic happens. The air goes around this loop and it actually uses similar principles that airplanes use to gain lift. In the inner shape, the air comes out here and then flows along the curve due to the coriander effect, which creates a low pressure zone right here causing air from behind the structure to be sucked in and multiplying the airflow that hits you in the end. When designing, I started with a centrifugal fan, around which I built the motor mount and the case. For the upper part, I designed a ring that went around the whole loop and had a small outlet that focuses the airstream in the right direction. Let's get to building it. If you'd like to give it a try yourself, I published all the files you need on Thingiverse. Just check the description for a link. For this project, you'll need a DC motor with the maximum dimensions of 23mm in diameter and 28mm in height, and two cables. For the power supply, you have some options, but I will get to that later. I printed all the parts on the Creality Ender 3. For the big top part, I used a 0.8mm nozzle with a layer height of 0.32mm and for the rest, I used a 0.6mm nozzle with a layer height of 0.32mm. After printing all the parts, I first assembled the fan and the motor mount by putting the DC motor in the mount and pushing in the fan. It's really important to get this as exact as possible, as just the slightest bend in the fan will cause it to wobble and make a lot of noise. Next I soldered the two cables to the motor and attached the motor housing to the top part. After that, I screwed in the casing and glued the bottom band in its place. When it comes to powering the fan you have some options, the easiest being to just hook up a 9V battery to it. Or if you want a little bit more control over the speed of the motor, you can hook up an H-Bridge DC motor controller with an Arduino to do just that. And that's exactly what I did, but I also added a 433 MHz transmitter and built a remote to control it from further away. While making this video I found some things to improve in my design and I'm already working on a second version of the fan. If you don't want to miss anything, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.